I'm Andrew Ying, I'm the inventor of the Letterbox Sentry. The Letterbox Sentry is a small unique device which fits on the back of any generic letterbox and allows timed access to and from the property. The Letterbox Sentry is for anyone that feels vulnerable, um, elderly, disabled people, uh, victims of hate crimes and domestic violence, just to give them that peace of mind that when they go to sleep at night, if anyone should try and put anything through the letterbox, that they will be uh, activated via an alarm. There are two models uh, available at the moment. One is the FG1 and one is the TG1. The TG1 is a um, battery backup unit and the FG1 is a vapor sensing unit. We also have a TR1 model which has the vapor sensor and also has a, a modem built into it so that it can uh, activate an alarm at one of our monitoring stations. The first one, a TG1, which is just a normal battery backup unit which your batteries go inside here and you set it to lock and unlock at desired times. Uh, just say you could set it to lock at seven o'clock in the morning so it's open during the day and lock at seven o'clock at night when you don't expect any post or anything coming through your letterbox. The other model is the FG1. <coughs> we have one here that's mounted on the letterbox. Um, during the day, the unit reverts to a normal letterbox. At night, this pin will shoot down, which will lock into a guide, which will be mounted on the inside of the door. And that is the inside. As you can see in the bottom corner, there is a vapor sensor there. And what this does, it recalibrates, and should anyone try and put any accelerant through the letterbox, it will set off an internal alarm. The alarm will flash, sound this noise, and this light here will flash very fast, green, telling us there's been an activation. After two minutes, the unit will silence, but this light will keep flashing. So if you've been out and you come home, you see it's light flashing, you know there's been an activation. To cancel it, press any button which will silence the alarm. We've already put uh, a number of these out in various properties for various councils throughout the country. Um, they are helping domestic violence victims and victims of hate crimes. We've also put a unit in for a family that were targeted last year. Uh, they had a firework put through the letterbox and unfortunately lost the house. Um, so we've put one in there in for them, for their new property, which has given them peace of mind. The letterbox entry, it's installed very easy. Basically, as part of the kit, you get a template. You have three holes in it. Um, this one here will be for the vapor sensor, but if it's just a normal TG1 model, all you need is these two holes here. <coughs> you would pilot them through, and you would drill them out with a six mil drill bit. In the kit as well, you get two shear off bolts. So what you would do, you'd put them through the letterbox flap, keep tightening them, and when these have tightened up to the maximum, these heads will snap off so that no one can undo the letterbox sentry and remove it. And the battery life on these is 12 months, and the batteries are situated behind this unit here. To change the to change the batteries, what you would do, there's a small screw underneath, so we undo the screw, pull that forward, pull it down, and there's your batteries. All you'd do, you'd replace these six uh, AAs, put them back in, and put this flat back on the front. How you would know that the batteries need replacing is because exactly the same as smoke alarms, when their batteries get flat, this will beep every few seconds just to tell you that the batteries do need changing. 